Another way to sort arbitrary objects is by using a comparison function. A comparison function takes exactly two objects, A and B. And its job is to return whether object A is greater than, less than, or equal to object B. Similar to key functions, it is up to us to determine what it means for one object to compare greater than, less than, or equal to a different object. Let's walk through an example. I have here these five trinkets, a manatee, a cube, a clock, a lamp, and a statue. I want to sort these trinkets in ascending order by weight. I will do the sort using a comparison function that returns whether trinket A is heavier than B, lighter than B, or equal to B in weight. The way I'm going to sort these objects is that in each iteration, I'm going to select the lightest item, which I will place in the leftmost unsorted index in the list. If object A is greater than object B, that is to say, object A is heavier, that means that object B is the lightest unsorted element. I'll swap object A and B and put A in the place where I found object B. I'll continue that process until I know that the current object A is the lightest element in the unsorted part of the list. So first, I'm going to take the first two items in the list. So object A is the manatee and object B is a cube. So I feel that A is heavier than the cube, which means I'm going to swap them and I'm going to put the manatee back in the place where I found the cube. So next up is the clock. So once again, I'm going to weigh them. So it feels like the cube is heavier than the clock. So I'm going to swap them and put the cube back where I found the clock. Next, I'll do the lamp. So if I weigh these, it feels like the clock is definitely lighter than the lamp. Therefore, I'll put the lamp back where I found it. And then finally, we have the statue. Once again, I'll weigh the clock against the statue. The clock feels lighter than the statue. Therefore, I'll put the statue back where I found it. And after our first pass, the clock is placed back into its final sorted position. Next, I'll take the manatee in the cube. When I weigh these, I'm feeling that the manatee is heavier than the cube, so I'll swap them. And I'll put the manatee back where I found the cube. Next, I'll take the lamp. And when I weigh them, I find that the cube is lighter than the lamp. So I'll put the lamp back. Finally, I'll grab the statue. And I'll weigh the cube and the statue. And it feels like the cube is lighter than the statue. Therefore, I'll put the statue back. And after this iteration, we find that the cube goes into the next position in the list. So we take the manatee and the lamp. And when I weigh them, I find that the manatee is lighter than the lamp. So I'll put the lamp back where I found it. And I'll take the statue. And once again, is the manatee lighter than the statue? Yes, it is lighter. So I'll put the statue back where I found it. So the manatee goes into its final sorted position. In the next iteration, I'll take the lamp and the statue. So when I weigh the lamp against the statue, I find that the lamp is heavier. So therefore, I swap it. And I'll place the heavier object back where I found the statue. And now we're done this iteration. I can put the statue back out into the sorted list, and it goes into its final sorted position. And then, finally, the unsorted portion of my list only contains one element, so I can say it's already sorted. And there we go. We sorted this list of trinkets in ascending order by weight, using a comparison function.